I've got some fennel and a little bit of red onion that we've just sliced up on fennel the mandolin. Fennel onion is one of my favorite combos. Right? It's like so ever, good, ever, right? right? It's, like, it's, like, it's like a super couple. It is, it's <laughs> totally, yeah, like, what would you call it? Fun, it's sort of funion? Like, no. Yeah, yeah, right? Onion -al? Like, it's got to have its own, own yeah, exactly. celeb name. They have to have the one word name, you know? All right, so we've got that literally. A little bit of lemon juice more, and olive oil. A little oil. more of our buddy. Yeah, the, the little. Olive oil, I remember years ago seeing on, a, it was Peter Jennings. Uh -huh. He did a report on the people that lived the longest and had, the, and had jobs into their 90s. Uh -huh. That group of people were fishermen of the Isle of Crete. Really? And these guys were drinking and smoking cigars every night, but uh, they were out every day working these, these really tough jobs. And the only factor they could find was diet, and they had the equivalent of a small tumbler of olive oil in their diet wow. every single day. And it did something magical for their immunity system or something. That's amazing. Isn't that great? It's so what a cool. great story. So we flipped it, it's got that caramelization. You leave it there long enough. That's just sugars being exactly. developed. Exactly. And it's the sugars yep. in and they provide the flavor when you're browning anything. Yep, so caramelized sugar. Mm. And then what we were gonna do, I'm gonna grab make this. Make up a little vinaigrette. I'm gonna make, yep, and then I'm gonna use this little. Uh, a mopping, little... the sink works too, chef, if you need it for anything. All right, you know what we do It's a need? real kitchen, what do you need? A, you a little bit of butter. A little bit of butter. Hey guys, can you run out some butter from the fridge? I'll check this one. We don't have any out here, it's back there. I did, I did that on purpose because I wanted to see if they could make it happen. That was <laughs> it. I wanted to do it. It is fun to have the little elves. <laughs> Thank you, Cheers! Isn't that great? Butter. I love, and it's funny, I was just saying, it's much better to use a little bit of real butter than fake stuff, you know? And because I believe in moderation, yep. you know, this what I want to do is roll in sugar and then fry it. And then this will be your dessert. <laughs> No, I kid, I kid. So I'm gonna take some of the butter, and again, this is what we're cooking with. We're not gonna eat it. So right. we throw it in there. Right. We're gonna take a little bit of uh, our thyme and garlic. Which thyme, is, oh, garlic, right garlic, in front of you. Right here, right? right? So what do we do with that? We put it in here. Just throw it right in. Yep, just let it infuse. Okay, yep. beautiful. You can kind of move it around, gets in there. Like when you baste the steak. Exactly, Throwing a little Same herb deal. and garlic, yep. So we'll let that go. Okay, you want to make a little vinaigrette? Exactly, so we're gonna do that. We got... Grainy mustard. Grainy mustard. You can do Dijon too if you wanted to, if you're not a fan of the... I like the grainy, I like texture and anything. Too. I'm the same thing. Big fan. Yeah, and it's German, so it's got like an accent when you work with it. Something the mustard like. talks so, to Yeah, <laughs> das mustard is crazy. Das mustard is crazy. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> you and I would be trouble if we went I, out together. I know, totally would be. We'd be doing Arnold impersonations everywhere. So, all right. Beautiful. Real simple, again, olive oil, apple cider olive vinegar. Oil, cider vinegar. I love um, Bragg's uh, cider vinegar. Yep. But most cider vinegars, guys, I see them in people's dry pantry all the time. You should keep them in the fridge after you open them to improve their flavor and keep their shelf life. You guys what get you that? What you looking for, baby? Spoon. Uh, of what little, size? Little taste and spoon. Kajillions of drawers look, of spoons. Oh, look at that. I love it. All right, so we've got our salad. We've got our vinaigrette. We've got a chicken already set up. So Beautiful. Look how simple this is going to be. I know, and people think it's so difficult to get a nutritious, easy meal on the table. Yep. I think they get too stressed out about it and maybe overthink it. This is, I absolutely yeah. agree. And that's why I do not like working with recipes, really, because I like cooking spontaneously. Right. Maybe I feel like... You know, going to the market and doing but carrots less is and something more. else. Yeah. Always, less always. Is always more. So I'm going to take my sure. my chicken. You can slice it, make it all gorgeous, or in this case, you just set nice, it right up on nice top. Nice little breast Wherever right there. Beautiful. Yep. And then we'll take our vinaigrette. vinaigrette. We're going to just take it and nap it right over the top. I love when it like falls. Oh, like, I love when it makes yeah. it a little yeah, river. Exactly. And the I, river runs through it. Exactly. Brad Pitt's hidden under there. If ah! you look. <laughs> But being Look, able to, you guys. yeah, and is then is he done? No, nope, oh, just a little, the just a little garnish. Yeah. Move this so they can yep. see. So He's taking, got some fronds. I love these little lacy tops. I was thinking it's, like, it's like the fronds. Like hey, hey, hey. fronds. <laughs>